And since we're still feeling frigid temperatures from that winter storm, shelters and charities transforming their facilities into warming centers for the homeless. Some local open businesses also helping customers make the most of their celebrations this holiday. Alex Love went out to speak with them and joins us now in studio with how it all went. Alex. You know, Isabella, it wasn't just about having a place and food on Christmas. Members of Rochester's homeless community told us the Vineyard Farm taking them in probably saved their lives as they saw what was happening outside. And since the weather prevented some people from traveling far this weekend, a community pizzeria made sure locals made the best of their holidays at home. Since Friday, Sister Marsha Allen and her team gathered up as many people in need at homeless encampments and welcomed them into the Vineyard Farm home, where they all celebrated Christmas with hot meals and music. The providers that work in the street, they all have been helping us, you know, pillars, blankets, propane, all the things that we need to adapt because we're ad hoc doing this. To make more room, Sister Marsha Allen had the guests cover the screens on the gazebo outside to block out the wind and heat it up for people to sleep in. Without this help, they would have been stuck outside all weekend in tents. I probably would have froze to death or, or something along those lines, had severe frostbite. Uh, like, I wasn't even able to be outside for more than 10 minutes, like, without my face freezing, you know, and I still have a full beard. I am forever grateful to the wonderful ladies and who prepared the meal for Christmas, I would have had nowhere to go had they not came to the camp and said, we have a place for you at our table. It would have been worse than the encampment. Our door was already off our hut. Businesses like the Muslim-owned Our Pizzeria remained open Christmas Day. Since the winter storm also cut families off from traveling, demand was much greater. The owners tell me it was rewarding for them to add their food to customers' Christmas dinners. I had a customer earlier that came in and was like, there's a lot of places that were closed where have you guys are open. That felt good. I'm not going to lie. I felt good to be one of the only few stores because a lot of stores closed on Christmas. People are more happy to be, to just eat and relax. It's Christmas. Everybody's off. And shelters like the Vineyard Farm tell us because they took people in, they need new donations of propane tanks to keep their heaters running for the homeless overnight. Those can be dropped off anytime at 126 Sanders Street, Rochester, New York. Isabel? All right, thank you very much for that report, Alex. And thousands of households also receiving the gift of getting power back on today. According to rg and &E, only 149 customers in Monroe County remain without power, while Orleans County has 154 still in the dark.